Well, it's nice to see her relishing the moment here. tonight, but as soon as that octagon door closes, the smile goes away, and the hands and kicks keep on coming. Gotta think she's interested in keeping this fight standing tonight. Has the decided advantage on the feet. No doubt she'll try to put on a striking clinic in front of the masses here tonight. Well, Thug Rose Namajunas is only just getting started as she makes this walk tonight as the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. Two largely dominant wins against Joanna Yeo and Jacek have vaulted her to mixed martial arts superstardom. Now the question is, as Rose continues to evolve, how much have these other contenders evolved to try to shore up and close that gap? This girl is a true takedown expert. She has a full arsenal of takedown techniques, and it is her specialty. She is so good at closing the distance and utilizing spectacular takedowns to bring her opponent to the mat. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Jessica Batista. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado. Fog Rose Nalina. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our third man in the octagon. Hey, yo, you ready? You ready? Here we go. All right, Thug Rose Namajunas ready to go here. Round one, Trevor Whitman firmly in her corner. And might be a little bit of a feeling out process here tonight. She's not afraid to see what's coming back before registering her attack. Rose Namajunas in another big one tonight. Well, not only is she active, Joe, but she has been accurate here as she continues to connect with a barrage of punches. Effective punch there by Namajunas. Huge kick misses. Oh, big shots there. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Andrade gets the early takedown. Looking for a triangle, throws one leg over the shoulder. Looks like she's got that triangle locked in tight. This is, could be it. It's getting tighter, this could be the end. That's it! And there it is! Great job in establishing that submission. Well, Joe can't say we're all that surprised, right? She told us during fight week that she needed to work on her overall efficiency. She wanted to get this fight to the ground early and often. That is exactly what she did. And maybe the submission win came even earlier than she expected it to, but a near-perfect performance out of this young woman here tonight. And one more time, beautiful technique here on this triangle for the victory. And here we see it again, beautiful submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at one minute 
14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Fog Rose Narayuna! Well, they will enjoy this one in the 303 and beyond. Big ups to Thug Rose Namajunas and, of course, your chief corner, Trevor Whitman. That is a potent one-two combination right there. And they've really taken Namajunas' game to the next level of late. This just might have been her best performance to date. And man... As conditioned and well-rounded as any... Any non-champion on the roster, maybe a guy here in Joseph Benavidez, who is the best fighter to never realize a UFC title, the UFC flyweight contender Joseph Benavidez, still trying to track down UFC golden glory as he graces the octagon once again tonight. So here is John Dodson, devastating combination of speed and power and the chin and the heart to go with it. He has never been knocked out, had a lot of success in the flyweight division, eventually, though, moved up to 135 pounds, where he has really continued to realize success. John Dodson, hands and feet, super explosive, very quick, outstanding footwork and movement, and no surprise that John Dodson finds himself in another title eliminator, Joe, here tonight. John Dodson may very well be one of the fastest and most athletic fighters to ever compete inside the octagon. If you are a fan of fast-paced action, John Dodson's technique is literally second to none. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. Both fighters are 33 years of age. Benavidez is one inch tall. Dodson will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Joseph, Joe P. Wakanobi, Benavidez. And now Chris is going fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, 10 losses. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, John the Magician Dotson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready to fight? You ready? And here we go. All right, let's see how it goes here. Early round one for the speedster, John Dodson. Joe, this might be the fastest guy on the roster. And by the way, he's never been knocked out. This is a hard shin to find, and that figures to be the case here once again tonight. Dodson going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Misses with the left hook. Straight to the body by Dodson. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Start to the round for him. Let's see what he can do. Now he's in full guard. Postures up here. 
Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by John Dotson. He transitions back to half guard. Oh, Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Now to full guard. Switching stances here. And both guys really going with authority. Just missing on the counter there. Well, he's got a strong jab. Missed with it there, though, Joe. He tagged him with that right hand. Benavidez going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. He just landed an outstanding leg kick. Hit him with the jab. Pressed up against the cage. Benavidez gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, flying knee! Left hand lands flush over the top. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Oh, huge roundhouse kick, but it's no good, Joe. Dodson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, exactly as he drew it up. Postures up, lands a flush, clean elbow. Attempts a big hook to the head, but oh. misses. He's trying to stay up. Oh, he might be out. improved defensively as he blocks the shot. <laughs> While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. <laughs> so holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. How about that chin? Oh, very nice. He hurt him with that hook. Huge shot there, Lance Flush. These guys are swinging. Look at him. Now he's in half guard. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Benavidez's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Nice job. That one hurt. Benavidez carries big power in his hands. Horn sounds for the end of round one. So the horn sounds after that round. Might have even been a 10-8. Big round there from Benavides. Huge knockdown and a big moment in that round. And here it is again. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. All right, second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh! oh he's on. He is stumbling. Oh, he might be out. Big 
big straight punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Nice jab by Ben. He hurt him. Wow! He is rocked. from the bottom. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Big body shot. Body. Oh! He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Lands a good shot from the bottom. He's softening him up with elbows. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. And he continues to work the body here. Dotson gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Caught him in the punch. Misses a huge hook to the head. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, big knee! He's hurt! He's trying to hang on. This fight is dangerously oh, close. Oh, he's huge right hand. Oh, 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 he's out of the door. Joseph Benavidez with a huge knockout tonight. Big spinning back fist for the victory. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Here it is from another angle. Great angle here. Boom! Wow! So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Here's the buff with the Ladies official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, decision. referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joseph Benavidez. All right, so Joe B gets it done yet again. Really few fighters in any division mix their skills as well as Benavidez does, and he once again proved that he's still one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in mixed martial arts today, despite never being a U.S. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his... ...way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset.
All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Swanson is five years the elder. McGregor is one inch taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Dublin Island. Presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now. The champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 10 losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at a Palm Springs, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title on the line. Swanson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's trying to double up on that jab. Another shot lands upstairs. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, nice jab by McGregor. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, nice. Oh, effective strike there by McGregor. Nice spinning attack to the body, lands for him. Now mixing one into the body. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Effective strike there by Swanson. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. but misses. Big left hand lands upstairs. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, nice punch there by Swanson. 
Excellent feint with the kick. Ooh. Just over three minutes to go now. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Swanson there. Huge block there. Nice oh, punch there. Big right hand. Huge right hand. That one hurt him badly. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. He's controlling with the double underhooks. Spins around, gets the back. Deep breath there and reset. Connects there with the punch. How about that shin? He lands a clean combination. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Connor. Oh! Finds a home for that left hook. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Just missed with the straight left hand. Good check of the leg kick, Joe. Jab there by Swanson there. Front kick to the face. Oh, nice punch there by Swanson. Good shots by the champion. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Nice shot. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice straight right lands. to the body. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Just misses with the jab. Yeah, left hook found its target. Tying him up here in the clinch. McGregor gets the over on he pummels here, and now he's got double underhooks. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Five minutes in the books. Time. He gets the Muay Thai clinch. Let's check that out from a different angle. And let's check it out from a different angle. Sit down, catch your breath. Listen, you knocked him down at the end of that round. That was great. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Throws a lot of wild kicks, has an excellent knockout power in his punches, and has a very strong ground game as well. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of 
multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. McGregor gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Excellent head movement. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. McGregor is able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. Swanson gets the tie clinch here. And now he's got that tie clinch. Double underhooks in the clinch here, Joe. Brilliant job of taking the back. And they disengage from the clinch. Oh, he caught him with that right hand. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. McGregor's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Nice leg kick there by Swanson. McGregor gets tagged by that stiff jab. He's got to get that guard up, Joe. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. Oh, both men exchange. Just misses there with the left. Very nice kicks. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Jab, but unable to land. Oh! He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Oh! see coming it landed flush and the rest as they say is history big knockout win for him here tonight and here's the end all right the official decision is in here once more the veteran voice of the octagon bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen referee herb deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes 30 seconds of round number two Declaring the winner by knockout and new Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely 